Hi everyone, I hope you're all well. So, ladies and gentlemen, it has happened again. Once more, logic and facts and legitimate data have proven that on average, conservative women are hotter than leftist women. It has been a truth universally acknowledged by anybody with good sense for quite some time now that when it comes to being conventionally attractive, conservative women, generally speaking, take the cake. Now, I've made a couple of videos about this in the past, not because I feel like hashing the same old information, but because we just seem to keep getting new studies that demonstrate, again, in different ways, that being a lady on the side of right, so to speak, is more likely to correlate with stunning good looks than being a lady on the left. The latest offering in the tranche of research about conservatism and the general hotness of its proponents comes from the journal Scientific Reports, which is owned by Nature. However, rather than using people to rate the attractiveness of different political candidates, as has been done in previous studies, the study used AI to discern who is hot and who is not. According to the Daily Wire, who reported on this study, the study used the headshots of 3,233 Danish political candidates who ran for local office in the 2017 Danish municipal election. Danish municipal elections are much less polarized than high-stakes competitive elections, and Danish political scientists describe municipal candidates as the last amateurs in politics, the researchers noted. Face API from Microsoft Azure's Cognitive Services was the AI used to analyze the faces. The AI correctly predicted the political leanings of both men and women 61% of the time based on just one photo of the person's face. One of the points of the study was to show how easily AI can identify personal information such as ideology, which raises concerns about privacy. As for the study itself, not only did it find a correlation between conservative women and attractiveness, it also found conservatives of both genders were more likely to look happy. For females, though not males, high attractiveness scores were found among those the model identified as likely to be conservative. These results are credible given that previous research using human raters has also highlighted a link between attractiveness and conservatism. Attractiveness was not the only correlate of model predicted ideology. We also found that expressing happiness is associated with conservatism for both genders. Previous work has found smiling in photographs to be a valid indicator of extroversion. And while extroversion is not broadly associated with ideology, some studies have found that right-wing politicians are more extroverted. Self-presentation should also be considered. However, possibly my favorite thing about this study is that when it came to facial expressions among women, contempt was non-trivially correlated with a predicted probability of left-wing ideology. Go figure. So, now we've reached a point where even artificial intelligence can recognize that hot women lean right, we should remember that, as the study itself said, there has been quite a bit of previous research that has found a connection between conservatism and conventional attractiveness, particularly when it comes to women for some reason. Not that you really need a study to perceive that, you just need to take a sample of the commentariat class. Seriously, on the right you have Lauren Chen, Tommy Lauren and Megan Kelly, while on the left you have Rachel Maddow, Lena Dunham and Muna Elta Hawe. Really, we should just refer to this moment from the hit Australian TV show Rake, in which the main character, a lawyer named Cleaver Green, is defending his choice of girlfriend, who happens to be the conservative premier of New South Wales, after being accosted by a leftist about it at a party. Right-wing chicks are hot, much hotter than left-wing chicks, because right-wing chicks are aggressively mm. carnivorous, self-reliant, hey. and rand acolytes who understand the value of, of the moment. Hey, they get that sex is something in and of itself, beholden to nothing, and no one. Left-wing chicks, on the other hand, Why? they're vegans who want a holistic experience. They're all about context. And this, Mr Clown, is the real reason why the left is cut because the right is constantly procreating while the left is grooming a dead dog. Sounds about right to me. Nevertheless, that previous research with people rating attractiveness is very interesting, especially the hypothesis that different researchers reached as to why better looking people tend to lean right. 
A 2017 study from the Journal of Public Economics concluded that, after analysing surveys of politicians in Australia, the USA and Europe, pollies on the right of both genders were generally better looking. The conclusion the study came to was the appearance gap between the left and the right was because beautiful people tend to earn more money. The more people earn, the more they are inclined to oppose redistributive policies, apparently, and therefore more likely to support right-wing parties. A more general psychological explanation could be that good-looking people are more likely to perceive the world as a just place, since they are treated better than others, achieve higher status, and are happier, and a frequent reason for people to sympathise with the left is a perception of the world as unfair. In line with this, it has been found that greater self-reported attractiveness is negatively related to a preference for egalitarianism, typically associated with the left. The more beautiful people consider themselves, the less they are in favour of redistribution. So, this study found that, essentially, if people are not only attractive but aware of it and confident in their looks, they are even less likely to lean left. Hmm. Another 2017 study in the Politics and the Life Sciences Journal yielded similar results. It suggested pretty people lean right because of the halo effect, that is, they are perceived as more intelligent, competent and socially adept than less attractive people, aka pretty privilege. Similarly to the Journal of Public Economics, the researchers concluded that as pretty people have probably been treated better than most, they are less likely to see the world as an unfair place. Add to this the fact that pretty people earn more money on average, they might be less likely to favour policies like higher taxes on the rich or see the need for social policies to combat discrimination. And in addition, a 2012 study from UCLA backs up the other two. But this study used a computer program, so not quite AI but on the way, and found that women with more quintessentially feminine facial features tended to vote Republican, whereas women with masculine features swung Democrat. Reachers put this very prominent disparity down to the alleged image and values displayed by each political party. The Democratic Party is associated with social liberal policies that aim to diminish gender disparities, whereas the Republican Party is associated with socially conservative policy issues that tend to bolster traditional sex roles, posited the study's senior author and psychology professor Kerry Johnson in a UCLA release. And it's here, right here, that I'll point out why the conclusions of all these researchers tend to grind my gears. See, the verdict from all three studies essentially is that attractive people tend to lean conservative because their good looks and subsequently easier lives cause them to have an ethical blind spot. Therefore, according to the studies, conservatives are less likely to be egalitarian and as such are less empathetic and less thoughtful people, if you run that to its logical conclusion. In addition, the UCLA study concluded that conservative women are prettier because they are more likely to invest in their appearances to be appealing and therefore subordinate to men. It does not take a genius to work out these studies are asserting conservatives are simply nastier, dumber and more selfish than the rest of the population. So, what would influence researchers to smugly make these judgments? Well, the fact that conductors of all three studies come from the radically regressive leftist world of academia may have something to do with it. Yes, people benefiting financially from the halo effect could shy away from redistributive policies. However, this would only account for like the top 10% of conservatives. And with the myriad of ugly leftist billionaires nowadays, see Mark Zuckerberg, God bless him, the image of the inherently right-wing fat cat is a little bit passé, especially considering the millions of working-class Americans who voted for Donald Trump. The idea of an ethical blind spot also ignores the fact that, let's face it, conservatives are the true advocates of equality. We stoically support the autonomy of the individual, freedom from government constraints, and we value equality of opportunity over everything else. So really, these nerds from the journals and UCLA are just feeling a little bit wounded that evidently their side is the ugly side of politics, in more ways than one. In my opinion, the hotness gap between the right and the left is a byproduct of the fact that conservatives especially conservative women, are people who are instinctively happy to let men be men and women be women. We don't demonize the physical and behavioral stereotypes of masculine and feminine because we know that they are simply grounded in our biology. 
Conservative women do not shy away from the concept of femininity because, unlike feminists, we do not see it as inferior to masculinity. We are not closeted men. We draw power and satisfaction from our womanliness. As such, of course we're going to be the beneficiaries of pretty privilege. We learnt long ago that with unashamed femininity comes power over both men and other women. There is, however, one key ingredient that lures the world's great beauties to err on the side of right. Confidence. That is the quality separating every smoke and hot right-wing darling from their on average less attractive left-wing counterparts. Call it the halo effect, call it whatever you want. Pretty women likely have more confidence than less attractive ladies. And look, why wouldn't they? Feeling comfortable in your own skin, regardless of what you look like, is a massive step towards high self-esteem. As such, why the hell would any self-content woman be attracted to the cesspool of victimhood, misery, and emotional incontinence that is the left-wing feminist sisterhood? Why would they want to homogenize themselves into the mill pond of groupthink that is leftism when they could be celebrated as an individuals on the right? For a confident woman who is comfortable in her own skin, successful, and has an optimistic outlook on life, Descending into leftism is a massive ideological step backwards for all the obvious reasons. But hey, that's just my opinion. Let me know what you think in the comments below. If you liked that video, please remember to like, subscribe, share, leave me a comment. And if you really, really liked it, then check out the video description for my Subscribestar link and other ways you can support me.